Hi, and welcome to your Friday Extra. My name is Sarah, and this is your Bronx Business and Community News Update for April 29th. Yesterday, Chamber President Lisa Soren attended the Throgs Neck Business Improvement District neighbor meet and greet at HK Kitchen on East Tremont Avenue in the company of numerous elected officials, city agency representatives, local merchants, and other community leaders to share legislative updates, information, and resources. Here are some other updates. The city's open storefronts program is now accepting applications. This program assists existing ground floor storefront businesses who wanna use outdoor areas on a temporary basis, allowing eligible businesses to conduct activity on sidewalks, in roadways, in the open restaurants program, or a combination of both. More information and the link to apply is in our Friday e-blast, or you can visit nyc.gov and search open storefronts. On May 7th, as per the New York State Electronic uh, Employee Monitoring Law, all private sector employers, regardless of size, must provide prior written notice of any electronic monitoring to employees upon hire. More on this is also in your e-blast. Finally, in the coming days, Lisa and our Bronx Chamber Outreach Team are looking forward to hosting Commissioner Kevin Kim of NYC Small Business Services, as well as the new Executive Director of MOX, the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, on walkthroughs in our Bronx commercial corridors to highlight local merchants and their resource needs. On to events. This week, we had two incredible events, our in-person media training co-hosted by BronxNet TV and our virtual small business expo highlighting Bronx micro businesses with e-commerce presence sponsored by Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield. Next week on May 4th, SBS is hosting a webinar on getting started with MWBE certification at 10 a.m. Then in honor of small business week, the Bronx Chamber will be co-hosting a Shop Your City community event on May 6th from 1.30 to 4 in partnership with NYC Small Business Services, BOEDC, and YAMA, the Yemeni Mer American Merchants Association. Our small business outreach specialists will be tabling and circulating at White Plains Road and Rhinelander Avenue to provide financial, tech and marketing, legal, and more resources for neighborhood shops. May 10th at 9 a.m., CMIT Solutions is hosting a complimentary in-person cybersecurity breakfast workshop to help small businesses protect against online threats. And then the Third Avenue Bid is co-hosting an online workshop at 11 on how to promote respectful, inclusive workplaces and prevent sexual harassment. On May 12th at 6 p.m., we'll be hosting our next evening networking mixer at the unique historic Huntington Free Library and Reading Room in Westchester Square. Coming up, we'll soon be advertising an online event hosted by the governor's office to discuss items in the new New York State budget that will specifically impact our Bronx business community. Following that, save the date for our next Bronx Chamber signature event, the 2022 annual golf outing. We'll be honoring Michael Gilfeather, president and CEO of Orange Bank and Trust Company, who is one of our longtime chairman circle members. Visit our webpage, business bronxchamber.org forward slash events for the full events calendar, which is updated weekly and has all the details and registration links you will need. That's this week's Friday Extra. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.